strong the other day. I think six points and six boards. Just how good did that feel to get back out there and then really produce? Um, it felt really good to just get a groove and just be on the court, helping my teammates out. And it just felt good knowing that coach had faith in me to know that I'll produce for the team and that my teammates felt good knowing that I'll produce for them. What's been the issues during conference play? It seems you struggled a little bit. Um, it have not been conference play so much. It's been that I've been struggling with managing my time. Like before the season, I've been working out a lot, but as soon as the season came here, I stopped working out as much. So I've been kind of getting back into my groove of working out, and that's been a lot seeing the ball going a lot. So that's been helping me. When did that switch flip for you, and you decided to start working out more and kind of going in and shooting balls? Um, when my when my minutes dropped, I kind of realized that I, I need to do something different. I'm not doing the same thing that I've been doing when I was successful. So I need to figure out what to do to be successful again. There was one point in time where Frank said you had a particularly bad practice. How far do you think you've come since then? Uh, I came a long way just knowing that I got to bring I got to bring 110 percent of practice every single day and not I can't take any days off because in college you got to bring every day or you're not going to get better. Mike, a and M's front line is you know, pretty much stocked with a lot of future <laughs> NBA talent. How much of a challenge is that for you and Chris? I mean, of course, it's a challenge They're and they're great. Uh, remember it from last year. Uh, we it was really a challenge last year, and I'm sure they're going to bring it this year as well. So it's going to be a good challenge. Thank you. Right, the last couple of practices, Ben, do you guys feel like you've put these past couple of games behind you and are ready to take steps forward? Yeah, I think uh, just like just like with the wins, uh, next day we got to be ready to practice and ready for the new opponent. So we're taking it one game at a time. Do you guys feel like you you guys are getting closer to becoming an NCAA tournament caliber team? Uh, sure, yeah. I mean, we're getting better every day. Uh, like we're taking one game at a time, we're taking one practice at a time. We're just uh, going day by day and trying to get better every single day. And let's hope we'll make it there. How do you fix the inconsistencies in the final five minutes of games? Um, <laughs> the, that's up to Coach Frank to decide. Then. I mean, we got to take more leadership. Uh, me, Chris, uh, Sani, and actually whoever, like, is willing to take leadership, has to take it. Uh, that's something we've struggled all year with, but I think that's one of the major major issues. David, how difficult is it as a freshman to come in and you, know, you got practice, workout, class, and you, mm -hmm. you're on a plane a lot of times. Just how, how tough is that to handle as a first year guy? It's, it's real tough, but as you as you go along, you just learn that you gotta love the game and actually love, like loving the game comes with loving the process and loving what you have to do to in order to play the game with treatment, study hall, class, and practice every day, you just have to fall in love with the whole process so much. You're going to be unsuccessful. David, as, as simple as it might have seemed, how good did it see that, that first jumper to go in? <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I know it had been a while. Yeah, it, it, felt, it felt real good, but I'm a pretty confident person, so it, it just felt regular to me, and I just hope that I could keep on the same path. I know, let's break down. Let's get your Super Bowl pick. Of course. Come on, you, have a, you have a score, and you see how how's it going? It's going to be thirteen seven Eagles. Thirteen seven. Thirteen seven. Thirteen. Yeah, it's going to be a low score. Okay. We're shutting Tom Brady down. Easy. I got you on record saying that. Get that. Go ahead. Put <laughs> <it> on. <laughs> He's a Pats fan. I'm an Eagles Go ahead. fan. I support you. Though. Yeah. At Tom Brady, man. Tell telling, him. Tell Tom Brady the Eagles coming for him. Mike, you got it. Ball, you. I mean, you're you're new to mm, the football. Yeah, football. I don't really <laughs> watch football as much because. Coming from Europe, like didn't grow up with it. I'm I'm more of a soccer fan. Yeah. Who's your soccer team? Oh, tough call, tough call. Probably Barcelona right now. Really? David, you can get Mike. Mike, with, point, with, with, with some of these games, the way they have, they've gone uh, losing them in the last couple minutes. I know you kind of talked about that. Is that something as players you can actually like learn how to be able to win a game in the final minutes, or is that just something that just has to happen? No, I mean, of course we can learn from that. Uh, Every game, there's something to learn from, and I think uh, coming coming down to the stretch, to the wire, and losing those games, I think that just tells us that we need to work harder, we need to be better, we need to uh, be stronger in the last final minutes, and even throughout the game, so it w wouldn't come to the last minutes. David, with uh, with Justin you know, obviously being hurt, yeah. what, did you, what did you? What does that do maybe for you in terms of? You know, defensively, um, obviously he's pretty versatile. Could guard multiple positions. Um, you know, what things do you guys have to make up with with his absence? Um, uh, is 
as a team, we just got locked down and just cracked down defensively more. But with him missing, that's just a big defensive part. You know, he rebounds, he scores, he does a lot for us. So um, it's not so much me trying to fill in that role. We just, everybody on the team just had to step up and for his absence. One more, guys. Anybody else? How are you? I know everybody's kind of gotten their shot at, at point guard in one way or another. Mm -hmm. Frank said that maybe that's not your natural position, but where were you comfortable wise if you, you know, you bring the ball up the floor and you run the offense at times? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that. I just, I'm comfortable with the ball in my hands. I just haven't got as much comfortable at the collegiate level. But as much as I work and as much as I have enough games under my belt, I become more comfortable with it. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you.